press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hi guys, this is Devi Techno. Today I'll be sharing with you how BitTorrent works. So let's get started. In this video, we'll be talking about what is BitTorrent, how normal downloading happens, how downloading in torrent happens, seeders and leechers. Then I'll also be sharing with you what are trackerless torrents and tracker torrents. Then I'll be discussing on whether torrents are used only for piracy or not. So let's get started. So BitTorrent is basically a peer-to-peer -peer protocol in which uh, various group of computers are downloading and uploading the same file without the need of central server. So means if you are downloading normally from a web page, you need a central server where the file is stored and all people go to that server to copy that file or to download that file. And thus it creates a lot of downloading pressure or traffic in that area, in that on that server. So basically, BitTorrent uses peer-to-peer -peer uh, protocol in which it creates a group of group of computers who, who are downloading and uploading the same things, same uh, file. So thus, it creates uh, different nodes, uh, you can say uh, different clients which connect from each other and share data, share their bandwidth with each other and thus increasing the downloading speed. Then I'll be talk. then let's talk about what are leachers and seeders. So when you are connected to a torrent and if you have completely downloaded your file and still you have kept that file and still you are connected to that torrent, that means you are a seeder. So basically you are increasing the speed or you are contributing your speed to another uh, downloader. And if you have uh, deleted that torrent from your uh, BitTorrent client, then this means you have you are not contributing to the, to the other downloaders. So basically you are a leecher. So if we are talking about trackerless torrents and uh, torrent trackers, so torrent trackers is basically when you download anything from a, uh, when you download a torrent file, that is dot .torrent file, it tracks all the IP addresses all, of all the computers who are connect, who are downloading, who have downloaded or uploaded the same file uh, from the, that torrent. So it basically tracks all the IP addresses. So whenever you download something, it tracks down to all the nodes and connects and provides you the speed. If you are talking about trackerless torrents, then simply when you download something from a magnet link, so it contacts all the nearby nodes, that is nearby computers, and it locates the information about that torrent and then provide you speed related to that. So nowadays, these type of protocols are being used. So that is also known as DHT protocols, which means direct hash table technology in which you do not need a central server. All you need is similar uploaders or downloaders. So now we are talking about whether BitTorrent is a, is a tool for piracy. I guess no, BitTorrent was not developed to be used as a source of piracy. But yeah, people are using it for a source of piracy. If you see, there are so many softwares or so many music albums or videos or TV shows that has been downloaded using uh, using these bit torrents. So that's all. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.